Good morning, everybody. So, very interesting happenings going on in the past couple days. Um, I went down to the FWC meeting in Miami and met up with a bunch of people there, and I did speak. It was very... I I was... I don't know. I, I got worried about the time, and, like, I'm talking, and then I get a little flustered. And like, I mean, I say everything I mean to say, but, like, I blanked partway through my first part like so I didn't say as much as I wanted to say about the first part but I got my point across and then I went and jumped into the second part and there was a little bit more I wanted to say before I got to the end but I just went straight for the uh the actual situation that happened um where the snakes were killed and I, I definitely sounded a little bit more attacky I definitely insulted them a little bit, and I didn't mean to the way I did, but it worked, I guess. People were happy about it, but what I wanted to go over was kind of what we talked about at the meeting, and like at least the part that I was there for. There was a few things that I, I didn't sit in the first day, because it was about fishing regulations, and I just don't... I used to know the fishing regulations like the back of my hand, but I'd have to look back into them because things have changed. Um, so basically the meeting was about a, um, whitelist and what a whitelist is. And I've done a video on this before. Um, a whitelist is where the only animals you can keep or the only whatever. So whatever the, that list is about, the th things that are on that list are okay. If it's not on that list, it's not okay. So, basically, because of the way speciation works and everything, it's just, it's too broad. It, it or it, I should say, not broad enough when it comes to the stuff you can keep. Like, it, it, it does the thing where, like, it only can put so much on there, really, and then everything else is a no-go, and there's a lot of stuff and new stuff that comes in all the time. So they were going over um, a lot of, well, reasons what, like things they would have to do, the amount of species. It's like something like, they say there's something like 20,000 invasive species in Florida. Um, or, t excuse me, 20,000 species of Florida, uh, in Florida that are coming in, you know, that are in, like non-native when it comes to the, like the fish trade and everything. And they're freaking out because they don't want it all. They don't want them all, in, you know, obviously in the wild. But, um, you know, they went over a bunch of other stuff with it, like a bunch of rules. I'm not getting into the rules as much, but, like, the propositions on how they would make, um, how how they would go about looking which animals they would allow. And, um, you know, they had some questions back and forth about, like, okay, we don't even know how many species there are. How are we going to decide how many of these guys are going to be okay and whatnot? There's just too many. And that was it. The money it would cost to go through the whole entire thing because there's a lot of... There's, like, 200,000 species that they'd have to go through, if not more. Um, so there was that. And then um, they ended up voting no. like that, Or they didn't vote at all. They just pushed the vote aside. They said more stuff needs to be done. And I don't know whether or not that's specifically for um, the fact that you know, they, there would be a lot of backlash because if they voted this in, this would, like, screw a lot of people over. Even more than these rules already have. So, who knows on that. These are the, um, the this is a blacklist. Okay, so this is what I prefer. This is what most people prefer, a blacklist. It's a list of the things you cannot have. So, as long as everything that you want is not on that list, you're good. So, like, as an example, it has types of mussels, crabs, and crayfish that they don't want getting out into the wild. Um, and, you know, kind of ruining things. They got the freshwater fish. Can't have a green sunfish. I didn't know that. Electric catfish, all species. African uh, tigerfish, all species. Yeah, you don't want tigerfish swimming around. Piranhas, parambibas, snakeheads. So, like, you get that... Um, other types of fish, like stonefish, you don't want to step on a stonefish. What's a weaver fish? I don't know what a weaver fish is. Mammals and reptiles and birds. There's only a few types of birds. For lizards, right now it's green iguana. 
tegus and nile monitors snakes it's brown tree snake benny anaconda deshaun sees anaconda and yellow anaconda and then you know the pythons burmese retic african rock southern african rock amethystine scrub and green anacondas and then all sea snakes so, you know stuff that they don't want really getting out this is a blacklist it tells you exactly what you can't have everything else is for the most part fine it'll be there'll be like conditional species where you have to have permits and all that these are ones they don't want pretty much anyone to have now that was could be smoke and mirrors just a, <clears throat> because people were so ticked at this thing tell you what motions did run high there were some instances especially in the very beginning where guys stood up and started talking out and they're like you know you got to wait your turn and he's just like because the fwc the, the commissioners um burrito especially i don't know how to fuck to say his name i'm just gonna say burrito sorry you can you can probably stare me in the face next time i speak in front of you and if you ever see this video like i don't know what to tell you i think your name's funny burrito but um he was kind of a douche, not going to lie. And he doesn't really, he, he seemed to be very openly abrasive. And like, he pretended to be understanding of why people were upset. But then was like doubling down and like going back after us. And um, instead of being like, you know what, you know, we screwed up and that's it. Um, they got a new um, higher up guy. I don't remember his name. It's Colonel something. And... Um, he went to go retell the events that happened and he completely screwed up the events like he didn't mention the fact that chris coffee gave up his snakes 14 months before and he didn't really give them up he said i would rather you take them than me getting indicted because he didn't want to go to jail he doesn't want to be a criminal and he's like just take them if that's what it takes and they're like no we're gonna count them keep them all here and then we're gonna leave. As much as you know, we're allowed to talk about it. You know, I don't know if there's any legal action going on, but let's let's clear the record on some of that so that the public has that. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and Commissioners. Yes, uh, so obviously there's a lot of been there's been a lot of uh, publicity and uh, social media surrounding an, an incident that took place on April 6th here uh, or up in Broward County. So I'm gonna give you just some overall uh, elements of what happened and then we'll throw some facts in there. And I know there's been a lot of misinformation um, out on the internet and, and, and such. And there's been, we heard yesterday that uh, some of our information wasn't available to the public. I just wanna make clear that all our reports are, are in body camera video from the law enforcement investigators that were on site are available to the public uh, at request. So there shouldn't be any information that we have that's not available to the public regarding this event. So uh, um, on April 5th, uh, FWC staff received a, a, a call of a reticulated python um, that was loose from a member of the public in Broward County. The snake was recovered in the backyard of a resident in Broward County and it was seen on a ring camera. The snake was 11 feet long and again, it was a reticulated python. That's a fact. Um, our investigators were called and responded to that site and took possession of that uh, python. The python was not, did not have a pit tag, so it was not identifiable. So per protocol, the investigators did a search of the local area's um, facilities that might be capable of, uh, of housing uh, the, that type of snake. So Captain Wildlife investigators um, reviewed facilities in the area that might have been the source of the escape or released prohibited snake. Uh, Mr. Coffee's facility was checked to determine if all snakes uh, being held under constructive seizure at his location were, uh, were accounted for. Uh, during this visit, Mr. Coffee and the FWC investigators discussed uh, the future disposition of the seized snakes. So he advised that he was not missing a snake, just to be clear, um, and we did not determine that that snake came from his facility, so it was undeterminable. Uh, but Mr. McCoffey did request that FWC investigators euthanize these snakes rather than attempt to rehome the 32 prohibited snakes. That was upon his request, and that is a fact. That was in the reports, and that was something that has been disputed on social media. Um, he also requested that the snakes be euthanized on site at his facility. Again, that's the, one of the facts of this case. Has been, that was his request upon our investigators. Um, after Mr. Coffey uh, formally 
relinquished ownership of the snakes. They were euthanized at his warehouse to accommodate him again at his request. Uh, while investigators were euthanizing the relinquished snakes, a legally permitted boa constrictor owned by another captive wildlife permittee was euthanized by mistake. That was an accident. That was on us. We made a mistake. Uh, the officers were conducted this euthanization. It took approximately four hours. It took a long time. And in the process of doing that, a lot of the snakes were very large. And on the um, basis from Mr. Coffee, some of these snakes had not been fed in a while, were starving, and were pretty aggressive. And he actually advised us not to have anybody that was not familiar with him to, to be there to help with that process because it could be a danger to him. So, and that was, that was based on his reports. Um, so in the end, um, you know, we are looking at our protocols and procedures and we are going to ensure that something like this never happens again. I have put a directive to all of our investigators and staff that we will not be euthanizing any animals at this point unless it's in exigent circumstances in the field re regarding something else. Uh, there were some also training gaps identified in the euthanization process. That was one of the reasons why we will no longer be doing this until we can firm up that gap and close that gap and ensure that our investigators and officers are properly trained to handle that or find some other facility or process to do that. So basically, in, in a nutshell, that, that's where we're at. And again, there's been a lot of misinformation. Um, you know, we own the fact that you know, we made, there were some mistakes made in the utilization process, and again, the, the misidentification and the, the, the killing of the, the uh, boa instead of that was not supposed to be so identify that. So um, just wanted to get that out there. I know there's going to be a lot of people that want to have comments on that, and they're going to see what they've read on the Internet or seen on social media, and the, our facts are, are what they are. The reports are available. The body camera is available. So if anybody wants a copy of any of that stuff, let us know. We'll gladly give it to you. So. Thank you. Commissioner Lester. Just, I, I just want to make sure I get clarity on a couple of things. So when the officers went to this facility, they didn't go there intending that day to kill snakes. No, sir. It was only after they were there that they were requested to do that by the owner. Per protocol, when, we, when there's a snake found in the wild, they will check with the local facilities right. to, to see if there has been an escape or release. So. Yep. Okay. You got it. The facts are good. I just, I just want to make sure we're following all that correctly. Um, okay. Commissioner, were these uh, snakes pets? No. So yeah, as you were able to see right there, um, he said that it all happened on one day. That he said this. That the only reason they killed the snakes is because he said this, even though it was 14 months before. And he was saying that there was a lot of misinformation on social media. So you heard that. If you've seen the body cam footage, like, go to Nerd's video. Like, um, Donnie, I believe, is the one who did it. Um, it's clear. It's clear. It happened, <clears throat> he said that, 14 months earlier. Not then, 14 months. This guy either doesn't know exactly what happened, or he's straight up lying. And they're all just, like, you know, fine with it. So they, they were there for something completely different realized that they, they that he didn't do anything wrong and then killed the snakes anyway how does that make what do you mean you're not there to kill the snakes how do you why did you go there did you automatically assume it was his and like all right he's getting them put down but he didn't do anything that's the crazy part to me like that's what he said and what he didn't mention, as I said, was the time frame in between. I don't think he really, I mean, he's brand new to this, and they kind of, as in their own words, baptized him by fire. But this came up a few times in the open-ended part, um, the open-ended section. They, you know, people said their piece on why they don't think it's a good idea to have this, and they didn't vote on it. So hopefully that gets, they change it to a blacklist. As I said, only stuff you can't have. It's a lot shorter of a list. It's easier to follow, basically. But this is something I wanted to show you. So, this is on the Florida channel. And, I mean, I'm hoping more comes out. And we might have to get, like, a Freedom of Information Act or something like that. Because this is government stuff. Um, you can see here, um, there is... Let's see, where's part one? Okay, FWC meeting, uh, commission meeting, part one. That was two days ago. Part two, again, 5, 10, 23, 
That was from the first day meeting. That was from the 10th. This All the stuff I saw was on the 11th. You see how there's that right there? Um, Florida FWC um, Commission Meeting Part 1, 511. Where is the next one? Where's the next part? 118 like this is going back this is not what we want let's see is there one over not all the way over so yeah no this is not from this is from way back so look at this look at this there unless they haven't added the last little bit but that's they should have there's only part one of the meeting I'll, i can play a little bit of it so that's that's what we're kind of dealing with. Um, they they kind of just dismissed us for the most part, at least when it really came down to it. When, and there were people who like they knew and they like I don't know had a little I don't know if having more credibility has anything to do with it or not. But like you know like Daniel Parker, they were going back and forth with him, and that's somewhere in here. But I'm gonna do a more in depth video. I'm gonna do a video that breaks down this whole thing. So. Um, yeah, uh, that's what I'm going to be working on in the next couple days, and hopefully we'll, we can get a part two. I'm going to see if we can get that other half, um, whether I have to email people or not, like whatever it is, I got, I got to find it. So anyway, um, let me know what you guys think. Um, I hope they do a blacklist if they do anything, and maybe this new colonel guy. I mean, don't get me wrong. He is not a bad guy. Things are looking kind of weird. I don't know. I have a different perspective now because of this. Thanks, but let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you on the next one. Stay wild.